Hi, my name is Martina Padrina from Chemistry 112, and we are discussing the valence bond theory of iodine trichloride. In particular, the Lewis structure, the Vesper diagram, the electron box diagram, as well as the contour diagram of iodine trichloride. To draw the Lewis structure, you have to first know how many valence electrons there are, as well as the total number of electrons in the molecule. So in this case of iodine trichloride, in iodine, there are seven valence electrons, and there is one iodine in the molecule, therefore seven. For chlorine, there are seven valence electrons, however, there are three chlorines in this molecule, therefore it is 21. When added all together, the total number of electrons is 28. Next, the central atom is determined which in this case is iodine, as there is only one. With this, a single bond will be drawn to each of the three chlorine atoms. And the remaining valence electrons will be drawn as lone pairs. As you can see, there are five electron groups. However, to be more specific, you can see it better in this diagram. These are the three CLs. This is iodine. And in particular, other than it having five electron groups, there are three bonding pairs and two lone pairs. With the information that we had learned previously through determining the Lewis diagram of iodine trichloride, this will then lead us to determining the valence shell electron pair repulsion, or Vesper diagram. Iodine trichloride has trigonal bipyramidal electron geometry as there are five electron pairs around its central atom. However, in particular, this molecule has T-shaped molecular geometry due to its three bonding pairs and two lone pairs. To draw its Vesper diagram, put iodine as the central atom again. However, the top and bottom bonds need to be slanted at the slightest bit. As for the bond angles, there are two. Greater than 180 degrees, as well as less than 90 degrees. Due to the fact that lone pair to bond pair repulsion is greater than bond pair to bond pair repulsion. Due to iodine trichloride's molecular geometry, we know that there are five orbitals. This results in iodine trichloride's hybrid orbital to be sp3d. This would then help us lead to determining the box diagram showing its hybridization. To draw the electron box diagram, we focus on the central atom, which in this case is iodine. We first start with iodine's ground state. Iodine has seven valence electrons. However, 
In order to get three bonds with chlorine, as it is iodine trichloride, we cannot use this configuration, as there is only one unpaired electron. With this being said, we would have to promote one of the electrons in the 5p orbital to the 5d orbital. We do this by adding energy. By doing so, we would end up with three unpaired electrons that we can bond with chlorine. After adding the remaining electrons from the ground state to the excited state, we will hybridize these electrons in the respected orbitals in their bonded state. So we would circle all of the electrons that will be hybridized. We would sh then show this process by drawing an arrow and writing hybridization and then showing the sp3d orbital. From here we would then draw our electrons. That is the s orbital That is the 5p orbital, and this is the 5d orbital. In the bonded state, there are two lone pairs otherwise known as non-bonding electron pairs. The two lone pairs occupy the 5s and 5p orbitals. The other three are our bonding pairs. As they bond with chlorine. As it is iodine trichloride, there are three chlorines. As you can see, they all bond to chlorine. From this electron box diagram, this will help you determine how to draw the contour diagram of iodine trichloride. To draw the contour diagram, you would set iodine as a central atom again, then draw one line up, down, to the side as well as two lines diagonally on the sides to present to represent the lone pairs. Now, these are used to assist you to draw the diagram as a whole. Now we will draw five sp3d orbitals. Next, we would put in our shared electrons, one from iodine and the other from chlorine, in each of the five sp3d orbitals.
Make sure to label your SP3D orbitals, all five of them. Now we will draw the 5p orbitals. This will be done to the top, bottom, and right side sp3d orbitals as the two diagonals that contain the sp3d orbitals are considered lone pairs. Make sure to show the overlapping between the sp3d and the 5p orbitals as it represents the bonding between iodine and chlorine. Again, make sure to label the 5p orbitals. Also make sure to label chlorine as your central atom. As stated before, the two diagonal sp3d bonds are known as lone pairs, while the remaining three are the bonding pairs. The bond angle, as shown in the Vesper diagram previously, is less than 90 degrees. Here is a better diagram that shows both a Vesper and a contour diagram for iodine trichloride, especially here as you can see the overlapping of the sp3d and 5p orbitals in this diagram alone. From this, you were able to determine the Lewis diagram, Vesper diagram, electron box diagram, as well as contour diagram of iodine trichloride.